finished design today is exported to the entire world. More than half of this is furniture, particularly chairs. Although the bulk now is manufactured industrially, Danish furniture has maintained its character of quality craftsmanship. Technical developments have opened new frontiers in production. Furniture designer is ever experimenting with new constructions. He cooperates closely with the skilled craftsmen. An unfailing sense of raw material properties is an important characteristic of the artist craftsman. Ancient craft traditions live on in modern Danish design.
The history of Danish furniture is unpretentious in outline. The old Danish farmhouse had but little furniture, but it was sturdy. The only chair was reserved for the parson. The simplicity of Denmark's rural culture is still to be found in present-day industrially produced furniture. But the skilled craftsman is still in demand. Apprenticeship is supplemented with technical schooling. After four years of thorough training, the apprentice receives his journeyman status. But skilled craftsmanship in itself is not enough. Nikolai Abelgor, a Danish painter, already realized this by the end of the 18th century. He traveled to Greece and Italy in search of inspiration from classical art. Back home, Abelgore began designing furniture. Abelgore had become Denmark's first furniture designer. In Rome, a Scandinavian artist colony sprang up during the first half of the 19th century. The Danish sculptor Bertel Thorvaldsen was its guiding spirit. Gottlieb Bindelsball, architect of this circle. His outstanding work was the Thorvaldsen Museum, built in 1847. The influence of Italy had erupted in mid-Copenhagen. Bindelsball also designed the furniture for this museum. Danish furniture making as a creative art emerged with individual pieces, often designed for the use of the artist's own family. But artist designed furniture was an isolated phenomenon during that period. General development was destined for an era of plush and tassels. of industrialism came mass production of cheap, low-quality goods. The 1920s, a complete revision of our way of life. Functionalism revolutionized architecture, the arts, and furniture. The late Cora Clint, designer and teacher at the Royal Academy in Copenhagen, pioneered the study of functional art developed in other countries. A chair from the Italian farmhouse, the furniture of the American Quaker, the English Windsor chair, 
and then the functionalism of the 20s. The inspiration he derived from various national traditions is reflected in his own work. The concept of functional design fascinated him. Core Clint's work became the foundation for a new generation of Danish designers. Many Clint design models are still being made under consistently strict control of material and workmanship. Copenhagen is traditionally the city of skilled artisans. Despite industrial development, the spirit of yesterday's master craftsman is kept alive by his descendants in venerable side street workshops. Thank you. 
today enjoyed by Danish design is based on time-honored tradition and quality craftsmanship. Mm -hmm.